international under 18 series is what it's all about and we're down at the city park stadium in crawford in cape town for the first up match of nine that'll be played over a series of three days playing into the wind is a little bit easier when it comes to handling the ball tending to float back towards you and uh, well a penalty a second one to south africa in a very kickable position well the tackler being penalized for not releasing and a second breakdown penalty against the italians pretorius into the wind and straight enough for the first points Pretorius. Oh, an interception. This is the man we've been talking about. Andrea Bronzini and Italy are on the board. Well, South Africa had a five on one on the outside, but it's Andrea Bronzini who comes up with a good read it like a book. A delayed pass from part of Pretorius and Bronzini. Like a thief in the night, plucked it out of the air, and he's under the bar for the first try in the Sunday 18 series. They'll be buoyed on by the first? that try, despite the fact that it was an intercept try. <laughs> well, the ball was played on the ground by the men in blue, the, the Azuri, or the junior Azuri. So another opportunity for three points. And the man playing the ball on the ground is in oh. fact Michael DeMarco, who hails from Gray High School. He captained Eastern Province in the recent Craven Week. So Pretorius now, it's a long kick this and he struck it really well into the breeze. Matthew Dahl, Bada Pretorius, the little grubber kick through there from uh, Abner van Rienen, who was uh, tackled late. Take care, Louisa, so South Africa have a, another penalty opportunity and there'll be no difficulty with getting distance here for Bada Pretorius. Oh. Lovely camera angle, perfect to see that he's done exactly what Gareth Wright asked for. Drifted in from the right hand upright. And uh, Pretorius then with his fourth penalty goal of the match. This is really good morning. We've seen it on one other occasion from the Italians. Really got in motion, they showed enough patience and uh, really drove forward. Desperate effort there from uh, Ryan Miller to try and stop it. So what do the Italians do from here? No doubt pick up and drive once again. They've done that. They've somehow found their way through the middle. And it's a try then to that man, Giordano Baldino, who was involved in the start of that line out. And then ultimately the try scorer. Well, we can mark that down to the pack of the Azuri. Wonderful rolling mall that started it. And then brilliant finishing. Go hands, Blue! Matthew Dahl, Pretorius, back in field, Ryan Miller, lovely little step there from the right winger. He's got past four tackles and a great finish for the Belleville high boy. Brilliant finishing by the right winger in the form of Ryan Miller. He's side through some porous Italian defence. Started by the forward, some hard work up front by Stassen and then quick ball presented itself to Matthew Dahl. Matthew Dahl, was that the right call? Deciding to go himself. So penalty advantage South Africa. Zane Davids decides to do, throw the dummy and get his try. Zane Davids putting the finishing touches to the second try for South Africa schools. Eh? Hard work there for Alberto Rolero, the hooker, and uh, the penalty's been conceded. And I'll tell you what, Eddie Fashir, I don't believe, will have a problem with getting this distance from the halfway line. Well, he's got a siege gun boot as the young man who hails from Pretoria. He gives it a big punch, Eddie Fashir. Got the distance. Is it straight enough? Yep. Super kick that from Eddie Fashir. He's come onto the park as a replacement. But they'll be particularly pleased with their efforts, South Africa. Two tries they got. Final full-time score then. South African schools a 29, Italy 16.